Hey, there's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back with another wine review. I, I say this time and time again. I can't believe that we're in the last quarter of the year. It went by so fast. It's a complete flip-flop from 2020, right? But I was still doing wine reviews of 2020 you know, in the last quarter, trying to get those wines to you, and nothing has changed now. So I'm trying to give you as much wine as I can as we lead to this, this last quarter of the year. And today is no different like any other time of me reviewing a wine. So again, for those who are new, these are wines that you can find in your everyday liquor store, grocery store, and wine shop. Those wines are right there in the shelves. When you're perusing the aisles, you're trying to decide on, well, what should I buy? Your Wisconsin wine, I got you covered. I review these wines and give you my personal opinion, what I think about the wines, but my infamous thumb rating system. Thumbs up means I recommend this wine. You know what? I'm digging it, I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it, and I'm hopefully that you would enjoy it too. Three quarters, you know what? I had this wine at a party, and it was so delicious, I had to go grab myself a few bottles from the store. Halfway, mm, not so much for me. Something about that wine just wasn't working on my palate, and I'll give you an explanation of why it didn't work for my palate. But again, you be the judge and decide for yourself. Thumbs down, always an easy one. Get the wine out of here. It's just not working. Now, let's get down to business and drink some wine. So today's show, we're going to be drinking a red wine. Booyah! Recognize that label? 1,000 Stories. I like that uh, picture of the bison on the label, too. That's pretty nice. You know, so this is a bourbon barrel aged Zinfandel 2018. Wow! Batch number 66. Now I feel very special. It's batch number 66. So there's a lot of bourbon barrel aged wine out there, you know, hitting the market these days. And let me tell you, some are good and some are just okay. You know, hopefully this falls into the good category. And I, I haven't had a Zinfandel. I mean, usually it's Cabernet. And if I had a Chardonnay, which is pretty good, you know, but uh, a Zinfandel I haven't had yet. So we're going to do this Zinfandel here. Grapes are sourced for the Zinfandel out of Mendocino, Lod, Mendocino, Lodi, Amador, and Paso Robles. Or Paso Robles. We're coming in at alcohol on this one at, whew, I haven't seen alcohol, these numbers, man, in a long time. 15.7%. That's a big boy there, right? But hopefully it's not going to have the alcohol burn. We'll soon find out. Let's give it a pour. So Zinfandel. You know, when I was in the wine business, you know, you, there was a lot of varietals you saw and a lot of grapes from different areas. And it seems to be not so much now. I guess it depends on where you're shopping. But Zinfandel, you hear most people talk about cab, 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 cab. You know, or Chardonnay, 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 Chardonnay. You know, but not so much about Zinfandel. So we're going to try this because it's been a long time since I've had a Zinfandel and probably uh, reviewed a Zinfandel. may have done one in four years. Can you believe I've been doing this for four years already? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of wine. Mm. So get a look at that color. All right. I mean, definitely dark. Definitely, you know, like burgundy, dark purple, you know, like a combination of the two. I mean, this is this is pretty nice on the nose. Now, I expect, you know, on the nose from here, ooh, you pick up on those berries there. Why, ooh, that's nice. Going deep in the glass. I mean, as you get closer and closer, you know, nice berry, subtle spice. And I get, like, hits, like hits that you could almost miss it of the bourbon. Wow, that's, that's nice, you know, very nice bend of nose. I mean, the bourbon doesn't overpower the uh, fruit here. Mm. That's a good sign. So me, first step, it's going to be the rinse, all right? No acidity, no play. I like my wines to be alive. Here we go. Oh, wow. Nice acidity, nice mouth feel. My mouth is still watering. That's a good thing. So let me clear something up. The wine is aged in French oak. Then part of the wine is aged in a bourbon barrel. And then a uh, final blend is done. All right, so there you go. So it's not completely aged in a bourbon barrel. It's, wow. Let me taste it again. But that's that's nice. You know, I like the mouth feel on it. Um, I like the acidity. I like the fruitiness. Yeah. Wow. 
So, smooth tannins, they're there, but it, it truly adds structure. You know, I always hear that thing, you know, tannins add structure, but it's truly adding a structure to this wine. I mean, I, I can feel that, but it doesn't like just overpower. Taste-wise, I mean, it just takes over your mouth, you know, with its taste. Subtle spice notes. It's not that jammy, jammy, dense kind of Zinfandel, but it has a nice elegance to it as well. 15%, mm, I said 15.1. I'm not feeling it, but if I were to drink the whole bottle, I think I'm going to feel it then. I'm going to give it one more taste here and then give you my opinion and what I think about this wine. Mm. Wow. And also in my notes it says there's a small amount of petite syrah, uh in this too, in this blend. So Zinfandel and a small amount of petite syrah, you know, two of my most favorite grapes. All right. Again, when it comes to the the bourbon taste, I mean, just like the nose for me, it's like it's so minuscule, you know. But it it's very well blended in. I like that it was partially done and they did a final blend, you know, so they wouldn't distract from the Zinfandel itself, you know. I mean, I, I think it's a, they did a fantastic job with this. Uh, it, it falls in that class of the good bourbon uh, barrel aged uh, wines, you know. So that's a good thing for me. But now let's tell you if it will score high with me. Oh, I love that nose. Mm. So it's both French and American oak, but it has seen it has more French influence on the oak taste, the oakiness, but not woody. Mm. Subtle spice. You know, uh, subtle vanilla, but everything. I mean, everything here is just nice. All the elements are there. The more you taste, the more it comes out. And mine is a little cool for sitting down where I had a store, but it's a little cool. But as this warms up, it's going to be even better. So, the Wisconsin wine guy is going to give 1,000 stories of Zinfandel. I'm going to give this a double thumbs up. I mean, I, I'm really digging this. Double thumbs up on this from the 2018 Zinfandel uh, out of California. Great source from different parts of California. I mean, I'm digging this. You know, I, I really like this. I can see this uh, even with food. I mean, something simple like a pizza. You know, it doesn't have to be a steak, but it could be a pizza. How about chili cheese dogs? I don't know. But there you have it. 2018, 1,000 stories, bourbon barrel aged Zinfandel. Double thumbs up. And as always, I want to tell you that you're telling me the guy was like in your wine. See you next time. Ciao!